want to show you something that we got for our DJI Mavic. Um, with this is a new holder that will actually allow you to use a iPad with your DJI controller. So let's see if it works. First thing you need to do is, is to get the cable. Now this cable uh, is available on Amazon and it goes right where you pulled the old cable out of. So we're going to get stick that in there. Now I'm not sure how it's going to fit yet if we need to run it underneath here. But let's see. Let's see what's in this box. Little fabric holster. And there it is. So hopefully that fits on the I have a 10 inch MacBook and of course I didn't read any instructions here. A little strap for it. I see and this is going to go into here. Guess no instructions are needed. So there we go. That is in there. Um, guess we could put this either way, but so this is supposed to fit right into here. That doesn't seem too bad. And then this is totally adjustable. Whoop. Just screw this on. Yeah, this whole bottom piece, this is all metal. This is all plastic right here. Uh, I wish this was more of a, a universal mount here. Because then you could change this out pretty easy. So, here's our 10 inch MacBook, and 10 inch MacBook Pro fits, so that's pretty good. And uh, let's see, get this thing to open, it's the DJI app. Should be able to plug this right in here. So I guess that you know there's enough cord with this this shorter one that we probably could take this any way we wanted to. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a better way to maybe bring it down here and out that way or through that hole. So there it is. Now. Yeah, one of the things that I always hated about this is a lot of times I'm flying in bright daylight and it's kind of tough to see that with the little screen. But this still does give you quite a bit of room. Hope it doesn't block the antennas. Um, you should pretty much know where all your controls are um, so you wouldn't have to look at them you should know where the f they are just by feel um, but this is going to be a lot nicer that's a that's a nice big screen there but got to take it outside and see how it works so let's go all right so we moved outside let's give this thing a, a try here um, get it positioned right because you want to be able to fit your hands underneath okay let's go 
go ahead and do a takeoff. I know the reflection is probably playing havoc here, but. Got some birds flying around. I'll tell you, it's definitely nice having this bigger screen. And uh, everything seems to work pretty good. Um, yeah, you can't see the controls while you're doing this because obviously controls are down here but otherwise everything is nice That's it. It works. So I definitely I'd recommend this, um, especially if you're used to just filming with your your iPhone. I mean, I have a an iPhone Max, and that still gets a little tough to see sometimes, especially if you got a little bit of a glare. Um, so this this is definitely an upgrade. This is a um, oh, this is an iPad 10 Pro here. Um, and it fits on here just, I mean, just nice. Um, it does fold up. You know, the only pieces that you're going to have is this piece and, and this piece right here. And, uh, I'll tell you, they fit right in the, the, uh, I, yeah, the, um, DJI bag. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking to do an upgraded screen, uh, check this one out.